Alright, welcome back to 5-Minute Kerbal, the tutorial system for people who only have 5 minutes, or whatever you want to call it. We are going to move on to another topic. The next topic we are going to talk about is liquid fueled rockets. So, we're going to start again with a command pod Mark 1. We are going to then add a Mark 16 parachute on the top, so we don't die. And then we're going to go over to propulsion, and we are going to get a liquid fueled rocket. Liquid fueled, fueled rockets come in two pieces. You need a fuel tank. So go ahead and search for the FL-T200 fuel tank. I might point out there are different pages to some of these tabs, and the pages are not static. Uh, if your monitor resolution is different than mine, then you may have different sets of things on different pages. So you have to go hunting a little bit, but what we're after is the FL-T200 fuel tank. Okay? You see it here, we've got two little green connection points. We're going to put it right underneath our command module here. And then we're going to go back, on mine at least, to the previous page, and we're going to, if this is on the propulsion tab, we're going to find a rocket, like this one right here, the LV-T45 liquid-fueled engine. Okay, max thrust of 200. This one is good because it also has thrust vectoring, which means the rocket is on a gimbal and you can steer with it. Now there's two ways to steer this rocket that we have right here. Let's go ahead and head towards the launch pad. You can use the thrust vectoring of the engine. I mean, the game will use the thrust vectoring of the engine, but the game will also use um, the reaction wheels. Um, the Every command pod, uh, pod here, every command module, has a set of reaction wheels that are basically just heavy wheels spinning that you can extract torque from. And um, the torque allows you to steer the rocket. Um, there are ways that you can add wheels for more torque, so you can have a rocket that steers faster and better. Um, and this does take some electrical charge, but these engines all have an alternator so that they can get electrical charge while they're firing. We'll talk more about all of that later. However, we do have to think about throttle now. Um, throttle is, is the control and the shift button. I use left control, left shift. I'm assuming they're the only ones that work. Yep, that's right. Left control, left shift. Control is down, shift is up. If you see the throttle indicator on the left hand side of the nav ball, it's going down, going up. Going down, going up. Alright, so uh, let's check our staging. Staging is bad. We want to fire the rocket before we fire the parachute. And now, let's see here, we wanna, we're going to throttle to about now let's go all the way, 100%, hit spacebar. Now you can throttle down while you're in flight. It obviously makes you accelerate slower. You can throttle up, throttle down, throttle up. My ship is turning, so I'm going to have to sort of play with WASD to keep it upright. And it's wanting to go crazy, but that's okay because we're out of fuel anyway. I got to pop the parachute, but we don't have to go much further here because what we're going to do is uh, I just wanted to show you liquid fuel tanks and throttles. So we're going to hit escape button, go to revert flight, and revert to vehicle assembly. You can either revert to launch or revert to vehicle assembly. If you find yourself screwing up a lot, you'll be doing this a lot. Trust me, I know. So revert to vehicle assembly. The only other thing I want to show you in this video is that fuel tanks feed each other. So. We're going to disconnect this fuel tank and engine for a second. We're going to click over to the propulsion tab. And we're going to add another fuel tank. Now that these fuel tanks are in the stack together, they will feed off of each other. Um, there are very specific scenarios where fuel won't feed, but as long as they're touching, I believe they will feed. So we can go and launch. Here we are. Throttle up, hit the space bar, and we go. Oops, and I didn't fix my staging. Oop. See, this is why we revert. Revert to launch. Fix staging. There we go. Anybody can make those mistakes. All right. Throttle. Throttle up. And there we go. You'll see that the, we're, we actually have twice as much fuel this time. If you right-click on the fuel tank, zoom in a little bit, you right-click on it, and it'll show you. That, uh, that one is now empty, but the rocket is not empty, it's only half empty. And now we're going to start draining it from this one. And 
And that's about all we have time for for this video. Thanks for watching.